Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so today we're going to be doing my hair with highlights with the Bellage Clairol hair dye kit. We've got all this stuff right here. We've got the highlighting powder, and then we've got the conditioner, and then we have the developer. And as you can see, I also have the ice cream shampoo in the back container to mix everything, you know. We kind of were looking for getting it that color. Here's the brush with its nice little tips. Looking at what we should do here. Oh, pretty lady. Oh, look at those gloves. Fancy, fancy, fancy. All right, let's give this baby a good look. All right, so we want to do it kind of like in strips. We don't want to do a ponytail. That looks stupid. Very 90s. All right, so I sectioned off my hair, starting from the very back layer, and just going to give it another little brush out with my wet dry brush from the dollar store. Then we're going to start mixing our stuff together. Here's the powder. Oh, never mind. We need gloves. Whoop. Protect our hands, boys. Okay. So here's the powder. Bloop. And then here's the developer. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And then bloop. There we go. Nice. Ooh la la. Then we're going to mix, 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 mix. Get that all nice and mixed up. And oh. And oh. And then, we're going to try and get stuff that we spilled back in the container and then mix, 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 get it all mashed. And then, and then we're going to start taking little strands of our hair and, oh, I look confused. Alright, so we take a little strand of the hair, try and get it as thin as we can because like I said, we don't want it to look like the 90s hair, the chunky stuff. Oh, I'm not sectioning very well. Okay, yep, this is where it starts off. So as you can see, I don't know what I'm doing and I just I have to do my hair on my own now because I do not live with my mom anymore and I'm on a tight budget so this will either make it or break it and yeah, just keep sectioning off little pieces of hair that you might think were, oh that's a big thick boy. Now we're going to section off after we've done both sides very terribly. We're going to come back down and section off. I'm very in thought, can you tell? Right, that's right, put it all back, honey. Section off, section off. Oh, oh, it wasn't good enough, I see. Okay, damn, girl, that's very thick hair. My hair came back so thick from chemotherapy. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go back, get those gloves back on, protect your hands from the bleach. Yep, plastic bad boys. Section it off again, so you have both. Oh, that's thick. Oh my god, please don't tell me I'm putting okay. Okay. Whew. Whew. Oh, there we go. Getting better. Getting better at sectioning. That's right. We want to put it all through. We don't want to really put it on the root, but we're trying to go for like quarter inch away from the scalp. Because I don't trust putting bleach on my hair, on my roots again. Tell you a little horror story after I do a little sectioning again. Oh. Okay, we're good. And, um, oh, we're not done section. Oh god, hair torture. I think the ponytail was stuck. Oh, okay, good, we're good. And then, oh, it's because I still have the gloves on on that. No kidding. Okay, wow, I'm done. Who cares? We're going. So, back in 2018, I tried to bleach my hair and I did it with 30 volume instead of the regular 20 volume. My hair literally started smoking. So please remember to try and go to a hairdresser whenever you can because that was really scary. As for somebody who's already lost their hair, I didn't want to lose my hair all over again. And even just for people who don't want to lose their hair, just remember to ask a hairdresser. Just go to one or yeah. But in this case, if you want to be dumb and be like me and not spend a lot of money, just do what I'm doing and then you'll see the results and maybe rethink that decision because I know I am. Alright, we're still gonna- oh look at that chunky highlight. Awesome. We're gonna do the other side and keep doing this. Oh yeah, I wanna get more bleach in there. Nice. Nice. Bleach it up. Oh my gosh, do it. Alright. Hair section time. Alright, I think this is when my ponytail got stuck and it was really, really awful. Yep. Oh, see, I'm saying ow. Ugh. You gotta take off the gloves. Oh, you had to blow a little bit to get it off. You're sweaty. 
Okay, so yeah, as you can see, this is about to be a hair massacre. So, oh, oh, stretch, stretch, pull, pull. Oh god, people watching at home are like, oh no, 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 what is she doing? Oh, oh, okay, it's out. We're good. Gloves back on. Come on, honey. Last layer. Let's see if he can do this. All right. Oh, that's pretty thick. What was I doing? Oh my goodness. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So yeah, if you are a hairdresser, do you want to just tell me exactly what I did wrong, even though I pretty much know what I did wrong and it's not sectioning properly. Probably not enough dye. Because I remember, oh yeah, we're probably going to go right into it pretty soon, but I did paint the top of my roots, but no other roots. So it just looks like a chunky, chunky, chunky mess. Like, you know, Kit Kat chunky? Like that, but like, highlights. Alright, yeah, see, so we're really getting in there. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Wow. What was I thinking? This hair is not going to turn out good. And I really was super confident while doing this. But, oh, yep, runny nose. Nice. Cute. Oh, oh my gosh. Do you see the size of these? Those are like all probably like an inch thick. The 90th call. They want their style. Mark. Gross. Alright, so yeah, after I like put more bleach, yeah, I'm scooping the last little bits out. I'm like, okay, let's go back, let's revisit. Like, those ones are looking good down there, to be honest. Like, I did a good job at the bottom, I guess. But the top layer is so harder to do because, like, I have that ombre going. You can see where my natural hair has grown out and where it has been highlighted and dyed and where it hasn't been. So I'm just going to put it back. We're going to set a timer for, I think I said it for 25 minutes or something. Oh, God. See? Yep. This is where it all went wrong. Whew, I'm back. Okay. We're clean. Let's hope. Okay, yeah, take it out of the towel, shake it out. Ooh, six. Oh god! See? Oh no. Oh my gosh. This spray, so good though. Very good. Recommend it. Expensive, but I had that for like almost a year for that size of bottle, so I do recommend it. Okay, we're gonna blow dry it, open the window, because I'm a sweaty lady. Oof. Oh gosh. That looks so, so bad. Oh boy. Brad Mondo, if you're watching this, I kind of made this just for you because I knew I'd end up on your show or page or feed. Cause, so yeah, if you are watching this, just uh, give me your info so I can come and actually get my hair dyed professionally because I would pay for your services. I've seen how you do, boo. Okay, so we're blow drying, still blow drying. Oh boy, I do need a haircut. Look at all those dry split ends. We're still blow drying, trying to salvage what I can of my hair. Oh boy, you can see the disappointment in my face. Like, what have I done? Um, trying to style it now. Eh, kind of like, eh, eh. oh well. All right, bye.